Hello, welcome back to EU4, I'm Paradox Gamer. We are playing traditional play achievement, uh, live on Twitch. Let's move it on. Got a big coalition against us. Siege of Cornwall is over though. How can I uh, battle these guys? Oh, you want peace already? So let's get the uh, Diplotech 5. England declared war. That's a coalition war then. Yep. England, Austria, Bar, Brittany, Corfu, East Frisia, Friesland, Genoa, Lunenburg, Oldenburg, Portugal. That's weird. Uh, Savoy, Switzerland, the Hansa, Papal State, Tuscany, and Venice. And I got Aragon Castile on my side. That's pretty nasty. Especially because they've just built up their, uh, their forces right here. Alright, let's check the um, diplomatic screen here. Castile will take care of Portugal, I'm sure. Gotta take care of everybody else. England declaring. Alright. Alright, let's check the force uh, comparison. Uh, they have a lot more troops than we do. The war goal is just show superiority. And I'm only take eight. Are anybody in take nine? England? Also take eight. Austria? Take eight. Savoy? Take seven. Switzerland? Take seven. Take six. What about my allies? Castile is take eight. And Aragon takes seven. Portugal? Take six only. Okay, so there's no take nines. So if you take eights, like England here, I guess I'll just uh, abandon England now. And that's the same as taking them out of the war. Maybe I can uh, sue, p sue for peace with these guys. Vassalization is obviously not possible. Uh, the white peas is though. So I guess I'll just white peas them out and then try to pull my troops uh, back to the mainland. And uh, what is their fleet like? 14 heavies. Who's got those? England's navy. Uh, let's see here, Navy, England. They got one uh, one heavy and one light, and six transports. So that's not a problem. So I'll effectively take England out of the war. I could get diplomatic acts, um, military access from Scotland. I just put my troops up there and just ferry them out. Let's do that. As for military access in Scotland, uh, no, first, um, first get the peace with these guys. Just white peace. They will agree to that. Let's get the fleet back here. And then wait for the diplomat to come back. These guys will um, get out of Dodge. 
Start moving these guys north. Wait five days. Oh, I gotta fix these guys as well. Well, why don't we... Um, can I get another general here? Not the best of the best, but it's better than nothing. Put him on there, and let's take out the Barra here. Move these guys this way. Just take out some miners while I can. Um, sea battle. Yeah, these guys will go in there. Friesland. Yeah, so uh, let's get the uh, military access from Scotland. That means these guys can go in there. And they're not attacking anymore? No? Oh, they can't. They can't get to me in there. <laughs> so actually, there was no need to get uh, to go to Scotland. Anyway. Let's get these guys on the boats as soon as that naval battle is done. Which is now. And these guys are gonna help. Looks like it, yeah. So let's get these guys in there as well. Alright, let's get these guys on the boats. There we go. then hopefully we can um, yeah, get that battle done. I'm gonna try to pick them up, uh, pick them out one by one. These guys are in Anshu, let's go pick them up. And get these guys to Amor. Back out to sea. Get these guys back home. guys are still black flagged. Here comes the Genoese and the Savoy and Swiss. Let's check the chat here. <clears throat> if you can get a conceit defeat you'll get prestige. Oh yeah. I didn't I actually didn't check that. I probably could have. Alright, let's get these guys into Amor. Another 10 regiments on the mainland. And then get the boats up here to Lothian. Pick off these guys. Actually, move them in stages because the uh, transport ships are very slow. So make sure they don't go too far away. Hopefully you can pick up the uh, Brittany troops here. Yeah, stack wipe. Get these guys up there. And then who's next? Well, up here we got Allenberg and some other guys. I think they are smaller. Down here we got the Austrians coming in and the Swiss. Papal State and Venice down in the south. Let's see, uh, Castile has taken out the Portuguese, I think. Where are they going? Looks like they are moving in my direction. Alright, so let's get these guys up north. See if we can pick up some uh, easy enemies. And yeah, hopefully we get a lot of army tradition from this, which is very nice. That's what it's all about. Oh, here comes the uh, Hansa Navy. They're just putting troops off. All right. So here we got these guys. Split them up. Get them on the boat. Actually, I can. Do I have fleet basing? No. 
That's a walkout. All right. Let's go down to speed three so I can follow what's going on here. Improve fortifications, absolutely. All local defensiveness in those. Toulouse, Nevers, French Comte. Picardy, Ile de France, Alençon. Let's take these northern ones. Lots of pop ups, quite annoying. Alright, they are. Can. Uh, what's this? Papal State. Uh, combining the troops over there. Let's go and take out these guys. All right, let's take the navy. How many? How much money am I losing? One point two. That's okay. Get these down here. Let's get the navy into Calais. No stack wipe there, fortunately. So we got the Austrian army coming up. Down here is the Castilian army. So Austrian army, they have a four shock leader. They got two four shock leaders. That's pretty nasty. And what kind of military tech do they have? Take eight, so they are fully teched. Global ship repair. Um, let's see, can we gain some? There's Woods and Cambrai and Vermandois. Are they just going for Ile de France, maybe? Yeah, that may be it. Let's try and go to Vermandois. Take these guys to Picardy and these guys down to Artois. Get the navy back up to Scotland. Pick up the remaining troops. They just changed direction. We gained a core in Flandern. That was the last one. Yeah, they're moving south to Berry. Uh, they might be uh, picking off the Castilians. Let's just move in the general direction. Put these guys to Ile de France. And these guys will go to Vermandois. And that changed their direction to nothing. Just stay there. Okay, so. Let me just wait for the remaining uh, troops. In Scotland. And now they're going back south. Let's see, did we have some battle here? No. But they are moving into uh, Languedoc and Toulouse which is grasslands. So it looks like we's, we're gonna have some fighting down here. And I don't want the Austrians to um, to meet up with them. There's a little bit of uh, micromanaging here. Still moving south, okay. Let's go to Ile France. These guys will merge up. Go to Champagne. Get these guys out to sea. There we go. Still moving south here. Right, let's take.
take out these guys. Let's move like that. Austrians are splitting up. Well, they have a lot of troops here. They should stand in the mountains. This is stupid. Okay, these guys fled. Let's go back this way, and these guys go back that way. Put the uh, ships in Co. Looks like we got the naval supremacy out here, just to the sea. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I think they have most of their navy in the Mediterranean, down here. Yeah. These guys are going back north, that's perfect. Now they're going south again. Perigord. Where are they going? Death Trap, they are going right into Roshu. I think they'll stop their movement. Yeah. Go back to the mountains, please. Alright, we got some troops up here. And we could all, always end this by uh, getting some kind of peace deal with England. Uh, let's see how is the army tradition. Still pretty low though. Where are they going here? Limousin, they're going back north. Okay, we got these guys back. Move them down this way. And then the fleet should go and protect trade, actually. Because we are okay in the sea zones over here. Uh, not that fleet, the other fleet. Protect trade in Bordeaux. England's got like seven ships here. All right. Uh, East Frisia. Too late. East Frisia's uh, general is where. Well, Austria's got the the good generals. They got two four shock leaders. This is nothing. Uh, the six shock leader here. My god. <laughs> okay, my king. What is he? He's a four. And I do have an heir. I just don't have enough army tradition to get some decent generals. Let's see what the king can do. Four shock. Now we're talking. Let's get the four shock king on here. And I'm ready to battle. Austrians are still moving back north. Now they're moving back south. They can't really decide where to go. That's fine. Yeah, they can't really settle on what to do. And now they are meeting up with over 100 regiments in there. That's going to take a lot of attrition. Alright, let's get these guys back down to Bourbon and these guys to Berry. Take these guys, catch up. And now they have a complete stack here. And it doesn't say how much um, attrition they're getting. They're all moving to Toulouse for some reason. And these guys are heading back to the mountains. Uh, I hope they will attack them there. Let's get these guys to Limassol. 
and these guys will just wait a little bit. No, just take them down to Uvan, move these guys down there as well, and that was the end of the uh, recording. So, <laughs> interesting wall we got here. Uh, it looks... Kavax, thank you for following here. It looks a little bit uh, grim, but uh, I think I got it under control, got full manpower. And I got Castile in there, so... The only thing is the Austrians' generals are pretty nasty. Anyway, that's the end of the, the recording. See you next time.